Hello YouTubers, thanks for joining us. Here's some snapshots and video footage of our doghouse slash condominium project. Foundation for the doghouse is a platform made out of pressure treated two by fours with joist hangers and three quarter inch pressure treated plywood for the decking and a good coat of exterior paint before any water. So yesterday I took a couple snapshots. It's at the beginning of the video um, building a new doghouse. But today is our version of Demo Day. We don't have a TV show or anything like that, but we sure know how to do justice to Demo Day. That was actually a room over there for the dogs connected to the back of the house. And that's being removed and we're going to reclaim our backyard. and. Uh, Doing a demo in the middle of the other project because I'm going to try to use as much of this material as possible to build the doghouse that's going on that platform over there that you see in the distance that we were working on yesterday. The dogs are being relocated to the side of my shop uh, from the backyard right behind the house so that we can use our back door and uh, reclaim our patio for barbecues and whatnot. We've been having to do our barbecuing and grilling on the carport since we gave the dogs the back room. But we're not breeding puppies anymore and they don't need to be right there at the back of the house where we can check on them constantly. So big projects underway. Check it out, we started a wall. Wait, are you making a video? Yep. That's so cool. That's Mei Lin, she's five years old. She's a great helper and she likes to dance. <laughs> Began the wall construction with two by fours. It's not an eight foot wall. It's tall enough for us to walk in just under seven feet, about 83 inches overall. Standard 16 inch on center stud placement and wall construction. The interior of the house is four by eight and then there's a four by eight porch on the front. Got a two by two vinyl sliding window to allow for some ventilation in the house. I added the 4x4 pressure treated corner post and an additional plate across the top of the wall connecting the post to the house. Started adding the plywood siding to add some stability before beginning to frame the roof. That old weathered siding looks rough, but it'll clean up pretty good, I think. Added the center post extending all the way up to the ridge beam. I want to do it again. And cut the rafters. Wait, the bird's I can't mouth. do it when daddy's right there. Oh. Ah, and hurricane I did it when daddy! Now you can take a video. Framing is complete. Just need to put some hey, I got this. roof, front wall, and the door. Oh. Seriously? And then all the finishes. OSB sheathing for the roof. A layer of 30 pound roof felt. Galvanized drip edge and three tab asphalt shingles. The roof's been through a few rainstorms already. It seems to be doing its job well. Added the door 
from the old dog room with the doggy door already cut in it. Cleaned up a bit to get ready for the finishes. So we got the old repurposed siding pressure washed a little bit. Got a lot of the mold and dirt off of it. It don't look so bad considering it never got a coat of paint on it the first time I put it on something. So it's all about, about ready to be painted now. I was just getting ready to set up for that and it looks like it's going to rain on us again. So probably not going to get to paint until late this evening or maybe tomorrow. We'll get a good coat of paint on it and, and put the trim on and it'll be just about done. Then we got to build the fence. We decided to not paint it and instead put a waterproof sealer on it and leave the rustic wooden appearance. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Come back and see us if you liked it please click the like button and subscribe to our channel.